For those of you who want to do some Python programming for your Raspberry Pi, this is uh, the first of several examples I was going to put out there. These are some of the very basic things you need to know about Python to make your programs work well. And if you're like me, you do not want to go out and reinvent the wheel and have to read through all of the literature to figure out what's going on. And frankly, there's a lot of bad examples out there that just do not work. So, uh, I've put together these. Uh, this is the very first one. This is about file I.O. So if you want to read a file, you've got something out there, you want to bring it into your program and do something to the data. This is the, the most basic aspect of it. So this is going to read a file and put it to the screen. The first step we're going to do is we're going to open this file and we're going to assign this FR as a handle to it, if you will. And we're going to open, and this is the name of the file, quote, and the file has to be pre-existing. In this case, it's file read zzz.txt, it's just a name I made up, comma, and then quote R quote, and it says I'm opening it for read as opposed to write. And there are other options, for example, if you're using uh, languages other than the standard English text, you may want different encodings, so that's an option. You can look those up and see which ones you need. The next statement here is for current line in FR. This is the same FR as here. So for the current line in the file, and it's going to go out and it's going to grab a new line every time. So this will grab the first line, and then it will loop until it reaches the end of the file. Grabs the first line, and then it's going to print it and it prints current line, and at the end of the line, it's not going to print a line feed. It's not going to jump to the next line because, in this case, the file already has line feeds. So I don't want two line feeds, I only want one. So I'm telling the program, don't print an extra one. It's going to loop through here until the end of file, and then it's going to nicely drop through. I'm going to close the file. If you do not close the file, weird things can happen, like you can't access it later, you cannot access it later. And then, when all that's done, I'm going to say done, so that I know that uh, my program finished normally. So to prove this works, we're going to go over here, I'll push F5 to run it, and it went through and it read this file which has a program in it, which I had done before, obviously, and it reads line one, uh, it reads the next line, next line, next line. As you can see, it's pretty much a copy of what we're looking at. So it's just reading the, uh, the text of this file. And that's it. Okay, well, uh, I hope you find this useful and interesting in your Python and Raspberry Pi programming.